Previously on Bravely Default 2, the party found that Elvis' other friends Roddy and Lily also went nuts. The game then gave the player the choice of who to knock some sense into first, and I chose Roddy because his dungeon is closer. Afterwards, Roddy joined as a guest character in order to help us with the remaining asterisk holders. The shopkeeper mentioned heading north to the forest, but there didn't even used to be a forest here. You think this is a place? It wouldn't surprise me if it was. You saw the town. It seems like new trees have been popping up all over. Aye, I suppose you're right. But well, we saw what the crystals are capable of over in Savalon, and it's plenty. Exactly. Which is why I must recover them without delay, before anyone else has to suffer. I know how you feel, Gloria, but you shouldn't put so much pressure on yourself. What do you mean? She means that it's possible to be too focused in something and fail to see the, uh, wood for the trees, as it were. Sometimes you need to calm down and take a step back. But I... I... Perhaps you are right. I shall try to bear your words in mind. You two always know what the other is thinking, don't you? You must be very close. If you don't mind me asking, are you... Hold it right there! The answer is no. A thousand times no. <laughs> Come on now. No need to blush. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Uh, not for you, maybe. I've had enough of this nonsense. Let's get moving. Oh dear. Did I speak out of turn? Uh, I don't think you did anything wrong, Gloria. Eh? Huh? What are you looking at me for? Huh. You never learn, do you? What do you mean? Oh, this one's not for me to teach you. You're the big scholar. Maybe have a think on it yourself. Huh? There's an NPC. Hey, you lot! I wouldn't go any further if I were you. And why is that? Uh, the lassie who lives down that way doesn't take kindly to visitors. But she fancies herself as a bit of an archer. And she won't let anyone down there, no matter who they are. She says it's off limits to everyone except her and her wee girl. Really? Doesn't sound like Lily. Her archery is not up to much? As far as I know, she's never even laid eyes on a bow. You think an asterisk might be involved? Could be, yeah. Might I ask what brings you to this part of the forest if it's as dangerous as you say? Me? Oh, I'm here collecting bark from the trees. Bark? Aye, that's right. It's bright yellow on the inside, see? I have a customer who uses it to make paint. I've been asked to gather a ton of the stuff, but with this many trees to sweat, that shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, I'll best be getting back to work. <sighs> Chin up, Roddy. Whatever's going on with Lily will get it sorted. Oh, we sorted you out, didn't we? Aye. I, I uh, suppose you're right. Thanks, Elvis. You just leave it all to us, big man. When we go any further if, into the woods of you, the lassie who lives up there is a demon with a bow and arrow. I only went up there to get some bark to make pigment with, and she damn near turned me into a pincushion. Nature's Realm. Alright, there's no doubt about it. Something very strange is afoot around here. Suppose it must be the crystals doing. You know what, though, Elvis? I actually think Wizwald is nicer like this. All the greenery, all these earthy aromas, it's really calming. It'd make for a beautiful painting, don't you think? You're a wee bit chirpier than usual today. What's gotten into you? Oh, nothing really. I just like being surrounded by nature, that's all. Is that where you grew up? Some place out in the middle of nature? I, uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. How'd you know? Well, I grew up by the sea. The sound of waves and the smell of the ocean always makes me feel better. I just figured maybe it was something similar with you. So your home is somewhere similarly wild, Adele. Not wild exactly, but sort of. Ahem. Nasty surprise! Hawkeye obtained. I already have that.
Mini Efers. PG. Encounter. Okay. Medium JP Orb. Five throwing axes. Another chat. Not quitters. Nature's none too sentimental, eh? Doesn't care about history or what anyone thinks or feels. Just tears through a whole town without so much as a buy or leave. Yes, to see one's country altered beyond all recognition is hard indeed. Ock, I'm sorry, I know it's nothing compared to what happened to Musa. I suppose I should count myself lucky. Please, Elvis, there is no need to apologize. I'm glad that there is still some hope for Wizwald. Thanks, and you know what? I think you're right. There's plenty of hope for the old place yet. Oh yes? Us Wizwalders, we're not quitters. We're not going to throw in a towel just because there's a few extra trees about the place. I'm very glad I hear it. As long as the hope remains, a, a people can always rise again. That they can. As and as long as we can keep on hoping, we can help you do what you set out to do as well. You've not given up either, right? That's how uh, come you're still standing here today. Precisely. I haven't given up yet, and I never will. Mithril Bangle. Plant food. Rune staff obtained. Four ephers. Another save point. Is this one it? One more step and I'll shoot! Lily! It's me! Elvis! You'll have to come back later! Mona's sleeping! Lily, Hen! Whoever you've got back home there, I'm not sure it's our Mona. I know your game! You're trying to take it away from me too, aren't you? What? No! I... Well, she's not going anywhere! I won't let you have her. Stay back! I'm warning you! Lily! What, what are you doing? Stop! I just want to talk. Lily! You have to listen! We haven't come to take Mona away, I promise! Will you just please stop shooting so we can talk? I'm not giving Mona up! Not for anyone! Oh, now you've done it! Can you hear that? You've woken her up! It's all right, Mona Hen! Mammy's coming! I didn't hear anything. Did you? Not a sausage. Hmm. I think we'd better get after her. Okay, so I get one more chance to back out and save. All right, Mona. Time for our din din. Mammy worked extra hard to make it, so you better eat it all up. Oh, and I got you a present too. Would you like to see it? Is that a doll? Oh, Lily. What are you doing, girl? <coughs> Hang on a minute. It's Mona. That's Mona's voice. The same voice that was talking to Roddy. It's coming from the painting. Thanks so much for cooking a lovely tea for me, Ma. I can't wait to see what my present is. And I can't wait for you to try it on. Here, I got it in town. It'll suit you down to the ground. I just know it. Yes, Ma. It's really pretty. Thank you, Ma. I want to stay with you here forever, Ma. Oh, this isn't right. Who's doing this? I can't bear it. Who's doing this to us? 
Oh, look, Mona! Visitors! Just wait there while I shoo them away, and then we can finish our dinner. Didn't you hear me? No one's taking Mona away from me! No one! I'll never allow it! Never! Why can't you leave us alone? I just want to live in peace with my wee girl, that's all! Just leave us be! Go on! Away with you, just go! Hmm, what's the plan? Uh, another Picto enemy, of course. Hey, well, we confused one of them. That's a relief. Well, I'm still in a tight spot. Holy shit, this thing is strong. Hey, you try this. Adam. Confusion. Even when confused, she just hits everyone. That's insane. Oh, uh, the Picto M Rita. I have to take it out somehow, but damn, th these Picto enemies are such a pain in the butt because they resist so many things. Hmm. Okay. Disaster. Would that be better than an Aga tier spell? Oh, that wasn't so bad. Too bad it's guarding now. She's not confused anymore. Not good. I have two. I have spear, so I should be able to deal damage to this thing. Ow. Okay, it's at one hit point. All right, you are about to witness my true power. Hmm, now she's gonna be an issue since she apparently counters physicals. Here it is. Oh, man, get it! All right. Here I go. Vulnerable to swords, though, so if I could, if I could get her low enough, I think I could get Seth to finish her off. Weak to lightning, so guard. To meet your maker. A sword. Good, very well. Yeah, 
Damn it, I think she counters Roddy's moves. That's kind of annoying. You are about to witness my true power. Here goes. Okay, I, you're now vulnerable to Fundaga spam. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Stop it! Just stop it, will you? I want to hear of it. I think she's countering magic too. She's countering literally everything I have. I better slow down the video. He's probably gonna one shot someone now. Why can't you just leave us alone? Why can't you just let us be happy? Let me at him. No, I can finish her off now. I just need to. Uh, just need to be a little brave. Maybe I should use her the special so that I can boost my physical defense at the same time. It's my time to shine. May the earth. No. I can't. Leave her. Come on, Lily. Time to wake up. Someone's getting stronger. Okay, but uh, they uh, they can target. Species-based uh, attributes, I think. That mean, unfortunately, uh, they, according to the guide, Lily has anti-humanoid skills too, which works very well against the party because we're all humanoids, as far as we know. Hmm, but anti-demon might be useful against all those Picto bosses. <sighs> Mona? Mona? <gasps> no! <laughs> you feeling any better, Lil? I hope so. You remember who I am now, don't you? Aye. Thanks, Elvis. For everything. And thank you too, Roddy. I'm so sorry. Don't be silly, Hen. We've both been as bad as each other. If you don't mind me asking, what happened exactly? Uh, I'm not sure. Everything after Mona died is a blur. I, I remember someone telling me that Roddy was acting strangely, and he'd, he'd stopped coming home, so I, I went to the Institute to see him. I don't remember what happened once I got there, though. I don't remember anything after that. So I've no idea how I came to think that doll was our Mona. Uh, what about the painting and the asterisk? Where did you get hold of them? Uh, I think someone gave them to me. Both of them. Ugh, but I really can't remember clearly. I'm sorry. Sounds like something similar happened to both of us. I don't remember why I took that jewel up to the tower either, or why I was making blue paint like a mad thing. Roddy, the jewel you're talking about, was it at all similar to this one? Aye, the colour was different, but it was the same size and shape. Why do you ask? Wait, is that one of the... Indeed it is. Okay. If one of the crystals turned up here, and someone used those paintings to control us, and it all happened at around the same time, I'd say the same person was probably behind both. And behind what happened to Galahad too, maybe? I reckon so, eh? Hmm. Alright. You can count on our help with anything you need. 
That's the spirit, Roddy. Getting the Earth Crystal back for you is the number one priority, of course, Your Highness. But I also have a responsibility to do what's right by my country and its citizens. And to help Galahad too, if I can. And most of all, I've a responsibility to find whoever messed with my Lily and make them wish they'd never been born. <sighs> Roddy. Well, that's something to celebrate at least. Glad you two have finally made up. Aye. I suppose we have, eh? Lily is now accompanying the party. Of me now. Time to apply the finishing touches and dazzle the world! <laughs> so that's the true culprit. We already saw her in town a few times and never got to talk to her. Actually put both of them in as guests. That's, that's pretty crazy. But they're way weaker than when they were bosses, and they don't brave or default, so it's not like they're gonna do any big combos. Anywhere would want to see their child again, even if it wasn't real. Which isn't to say I'm not grateful that you sent me out of it. Mwena would, wouldn't have wanted us to turn our backs on the real world, even if the fantasy did seem better in its way. I still don't get why we were manipulated like that, and it's pretty scary when you don't understand someone's motives. Time to find out who's been messing with my pals. And mark my words, whoever it is, they're going to regret making enemies of the Scholars of Wiswalt. Won't someone go to the Veil of Sights for me? 39. I want to show my gratitude to the man who maintains the paths in the Veil of Sights. My dad's a merchant, and he's never been- uh, and he never have made it home from his last trip if the paths hadn't been pristine. Alright, accept. Handmade Donut. Elvis seems pretty fired up. I guess I'd better get in the mood too. We should make our way to the tower. There must be a reason why we were prevented from entering. Jinx, how am I supposed to find the time to gather this little lot? A helping hand. Oh, it's exhausting looking after all these uh, bairns. And they're always asking after things. You couldn't round up some bits and bobs for me, could you? Four leaf clovers. Okay, except. What's that? A girl sent me a little present because my keeping the path in good condition helped her dad get home? Well, this is a pleasant surprise, I must say, and I'm certainly not one to turn down the donut. I had a little girl of my own, you know. We were traveling to Garin. Well, there was a landslide, and she... she... I couldn't let that happen to anyone else, so I decided to quit my job as a merchant and to dedicate my life to repairing roads instead. Hmm, you know, she used to make donuts too, funnily enough. That, that taste really takes me back. Thanks so much for delivering that donut. You, you, you'll look after yourself on the road, won't you? Whoever is waiting for you will only worry if you come home hurt, or don't come home at all. Report back. Four leaf clover, that's one down. Two down. Alright, that's the final clover. That's the stuff, will really work. Next I'll need you to find me three wizard trinkets. They're all the rage she, uh, with kiddies, he says. I think they, they're making some kind of spinning top they make up at the Institute. That's one wizard trinket. Nerd trinket. And that's the last one. Oh, so we want to are over the moon next to you. They've used the clovers to decorate those carts they're always playing with, and turn the wizard's trinkets into spinny wee brooches. Children never cease to amaze me, they're just so endlessly inventive. Bless them. No sign of Galahad. Nope. Can't see him lurking anywhere. But this was where you saw him. In front of the tower. Yeah. 
Everything was fine until we asked him to let us inside, and then he went crazy and attacked us. Well, I certainly never told him to guard it. I wonder who did. So, if he's not here anymore, do you think whoever's been telling him to guard things willy-nilly's maybe sent him off to guard something else? Could be. Oh, I just hope he's all right. Aye, me too. Perhaps he hasn't been sent elsewhere. Something tells me he might be inside. The Trials of Galahad. So Galahad, Lily, and myself have all uh, have all been being controlled by some kind of outside force. I right, and Galahad more than likely still needs a wee bit of sense knocking into him. Okay, that doesn't seem fair. I bet I'll bet whoever's doing this took advantage of the poor boy's sense of duty. I right, come rain or shine, come hell or high water, he'll, he never abandoned his post. That one. Many's the time I try to make him. And what's wrong with being dedicated to your duties, eh? I reckon we could do with a few more like Galahad. And he's been through so much. Losing his parents and being sent here to Wizwald when he was still only a wee one. But he stood firm and took it all on the chin. Never asked for help from anybody. Crikey, never knew that was what happened to him. Alright, well now you do. Now that you do, maybe you'll take a leaf out of his book, eh? A little more backbone's just what you need, I'd say. Ha, huh, that's search coming from you, Mr. Blue Paint. Oh, so you're going in there, are you? Well, the gloves are off, then. Ah, uh, not now, you two. This is neither the time nor the place. Alright, sorry, Lily. Alright, sorry. Teleport stone. Nasty surprise. Earthbreaker obtained. Aha, there's a the chest. Twenty five twenty PG. Phoenix down. Typhoon shield. Three ethers. Adamant helm. Many E first, but cannot carry them all. Medium JP Orb. Nasty surprise. Got Longinus. Courage Ring. The last save point? Oh boy. It's Galahad. Don't worry. I understand. I won't let anything bad happen. I promise. I give my life to protect you. I'll die before I let you get hurt again. Thank you, Galahad. <sighs> Another painting. Protect you. Protect you. P protect. 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 Roddy. Aye. Makes sense. He really cared about her too. What, about Mona, you mean? Yes. And he was there when the accident happened. He said he couldn't forgive himself for not being able to save her. Please, Galahad. Protect me. I will. Of course I will. I won't let anything bad happen to you ever again. Yes. You have to protect me. You have to save me. Ah. 
I'll never let you hurt Mona. Never! I will protect her! Protect! 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 Yeah, they gave, they put all the demons here. That really sucks. Each one individually was already horrible to deal with. At least I don't have to scan them, but still, I don't like this. Hmm. Everything costs way too much health to use. Okay, then Focal Blast on Bell Lift. Oh boy. I need to take out the Amrita next. I have a sword, so it shouldn't be too difficult, hopefully. Five chances of stuff bring usual critical. What? First, let's use normal ether on self, so I can start doing shit again. Hey, try this! Get ready! This will shut you up. Yeah, I'm not getting- I'm, I'm gonna need some magic to deal with the Mona, huh? Except that he's blocking everything, so that might not work out either. A song? Oh well. Hmm. He's got full BP, not good. Safety boss! Shoot all the breeze myself! <laughs> See. He's paralyzed. Could that even be my chance to strike? <laughs> Prepare to meet your maker. Here goes. <laughs> okay, how how much physical damage boost do we have? Is it enough to overcome everyone else? Okay. Gonna block everything I do though. Prepare for impact. One down. I've got a little something for you. See how you like this. Prepare for impact. Yes. Uh. You're isolated. Well, what's next? I wonder. Hmm. Safety boss! You are about to witness my true power! I hope my voice holds. Yeah, he got. I'm, I'm lucky Lowly managed to paralyze him. For once, the guest characters are 
being pretty good here, huh? Hmm. So you're gonna need some more ether. Let's see now. Right, let's see. You're just gonna spam some disaster real quick and see if it makes a dent in you. Nope. That was a bad idea. Hmm. Just gonna have to rely on Seth to deal most of the damage, huh? No longer paralyzed. Good. I hope my voice oh, is next. I wonder. Hmm. Aye, this should do it. <laughs> okay, we survived. To meet your maker. Here goes. <laughs> Okay, just need to finish you off. It's gonna get one of us killed. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Yeah, I got me killed, but he's almost dead too. I can finish him off now. There. You can't talk to yourself any longer. Got a little aggressive at the end, but whatever. Now this I can improve my tanking abilities. Shield Master. Keep allies safe from harm with protective techniques and equipment. The user will step in to take damage in place of a selected ally, automatically adopting the default stance in the process. Prizal. 50% of any damage received by the user will also be inflicted on the attacker. Galahad. Why, are, why do they all have white robes? <sighs> I thought Galahad would at least have some basic arm non asterisk armor. Oh, oh, thank goodness he's breathing. Had me worried there for a second, pal. Leave him with us. You lot need to go on ahead and get the crystal. We'll come after you as soon as we can. Well, if you're sure. Ruddy and Lily leave the party. You lot go ahead. We'll follow once we're sure Galahad's okay. I'm sorry, Mona. He'll be fine. He's just unconscious is all. He'll be glad you put a stop to his raging, I promise. You know, that was quite a brutal fight, but especially with all those enemies, but managed to work out somehow. There it is! The Earth Crystal! <laughs> That's two down. What the? It's a fake! Run! Ah! Damn it! What's the matter? I. I think I've been. Poisoned. What? Are you okay? Yeah. I I'm fine. No big deal. So the crystal was a trap. 
and we walked right into it. Is everyone all right? What happened? The crystal. <laughs> it was a fake. What? Then where's the real one? Hold on, everyone. The book's at it again. Here, let me give you this painting. It will make you feel better about everything. Please, go ahead. You have to protect me. Mona, Mona, I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. Oh, Mona. <laughs> Go ahead. Listen. I'm hiding in the tower because some bad people are coming. You have to keep them away from me. You have to protect me. Of course, Mona. Of course I'll protect you. Protect you. Protect you. Protect. 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 <laughs> what in the name of all that's holy was that? Well, it's a bit of a long story. So it was a vision of the past, eh? Who knew Lady Emma had a book that could do something like that? Anyway, what we saw just now, it rang a bell. I think that girl's the one who gave me my painting, too. Aye, same here. Then I guess we finally know who's behind all this. But using paintings to control people? That's quite the specialised technique, eh? I smell asterisks. Well, asterisk user or no, we've found our culprit. All we need to do now is track her down. Roddy. What is it, him? That lassie we saw just now. I think I've seen her before. Painting pictures around town. Interesting. I was just thinking I'd seen paintings like that here and there myself. You think they might have something to do with all this? Seems likely. Everything else has been tied to them after all. Then we'd better go and investigate further. Everyone's accompanying the party as a guest. And they're all just were Seriously, I wish I came up with more creative freelancer clothes for them. Or just impressions. So can you guys tell us anything about the girl the book showed us? The artist? Um, no, not really. Me neither, I'm afraid. That whole time I was under her spell, it's all a bit of a blur. She was kind of small, right? Maybe just a kid, even. Maybe. She did have that butter wouldn't melt look about her. And there was something sort of childlike about how she spoke, too. Really? All I remember her talking about is art. Yabbering on, on about the majesty of her craft, that sort of thing. Oh, strange. It just got the impression she was awfully lonely. Weird. It's almost like you're talking about different people. Aye. Hmm. So she was, what, changing how she appeared to all of you? That or she was deliberately trying to confuse us. Yeah, like using loads of different paint at once so it ends up some muddy color you can't really pin down. Hmm. Maybe she's somewhere watching us right now and laughing at how confused we are. I only wish I knew where. How are you feeling? Is the poison starting to wear off? You must be getting rather tired of my putting you in danger. Seems whoever's behind all this uses paintings to manipulate people. We should go and take a closer look at any pictures we can find around town. Poisoning that fake crystal is a pretty dirty trick, but I guess that's the kind of person we're dealing with here. She's not going to play by any rules, and we'll have to we'll just have to be prepared for that. The woman who was controlling us using those pictures left paintings all over town. Look at one or two of them might provide a clue as to what exactly is going on. She took advantage of my guilt, my regret, and used it against me. It's unforgivable. What happened to Mona was a tragedy, not something to exploit. Thanks for making me see sense. I owe you. This woman and her painting, the crystals, the asterisk on that book. It all must all be connected somehow, by having the foggiest... How? Oh, if only Lady Emma were here to help. Party raises the painting. We 
You race the Nura one. Hurry races the painting, but a new one showed up. Looks like this is the last painting. A door? There was a door hidden right here the whole time. And it looks like it leads to the branches of the great tree. Well, only one thing for it. In we go. Okay, now we can get the final chest. Insect Nectar. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Bravely Default 2. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.